Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make dahi aloo. A lot of you might have made it already and maybe some of you want to learn how to make it. So here's it for you. It's a fairly simple recipe that you can make with just a basic set of ingredients. All you need is some boiled potatoes, some yogurt and some masala that will be there in your kitchen. So without wasting any time, let's dive right in and start cooking. Now to begin making the dahi aloo recipe, I have some dahi with me. And to this, I'm going to mix up some basin and keep it aside, right? So into the dahi, I'm going to add in some basin. So the basin is actually a thickening agent and will not allow the dahi to curdle when we actually cook it along with the aloo. So just whisk it up. Make sure there are no lumps. Just press it down to the sides of the bowl and just make sure that all the basin gets dissolved in it. Perfect. Now the next step is to cook the, roast the potatoes along with the masala and then add the dahi to make the dahi aloo. So let's just proceed to do that. Okay. To begin making the dahi aloo into the pan that I've preheated, I'm going to add in some oil. I'm going to add in just about a tablespoon. You can add a little less or a little more to get a nice well roasted potato. To this, add in the cumin seeds, jeera. And allow it to crackle a little bit, right? Once the cumin seeds crackle, we'll add in the onions, finely chopped, and give it a stir. We'll saute the onions on low to medium heat until it becomes lightly softened, about two to three minutes. But couple of minutes, the onions have lightly softened. I'm not going to make it really soft because it's going to cook a little more. I'm going to add in some uh, pounded garlic that I pounded in the pestle and mortar. About two to three small cloves. We'll grate up some ginger. You could have also pounded it in, in the pestle and mortar. But grating is also fine. Right. Right. And some green chilies. You can chop them finely, you can add a few more if you like it spicier. And some curry leaves that we will roughly tear up, right? Perfect. Just give it a stir, you don't have to saute it and cook it too long. So you just, the raw smell goes away, that's it. To this I'm going to add in some boiled potatoes. So now at this stage you can add in some baby potatoes, that's what I've done. Or you can also use the regular big sized potatoes and cut it into chunks and add it to this. I'm going to sprinkle some salt over this. And uh, some turmeric powder. Some hing as a potato. Coriander powder. pinch of red chilli suit your taste and finally the garam masala and just give it a stir. Allow the potatoes to get coated with the masala for another couple of minutes, roast for a few minutes and we'll add the dahi post that. Notice how the potatoes have been coated with the masala really well. It's just perfect. I just broke open some potatoes so that they were really big so I'm just cutting them open so they have smaller pieces. That's it. So now that the potatoes are coated with the masala I'm going to add in the dahi mixture, dahi and basin mixture. Right? Just give it a stir. It's And I'm going to add a little bit of water because we added quite a bit of basin, so the mixture is going to become really thick. Uh, so based on your choice, you could either make it liquidy or you could make it thick like a gravy. It's purely your choice, right? So and the dahi aloo will just taste just as fine. You can serve it with rice or you can serve it with um, fulkas and tawa parathas. So what I'm going to do is, since we like to have it with some rice, I'm going to add in some more water and. Um, and cook it in. 
I'm going to turn the heat to high and give the dahi aloo a brisk boil for about 3 to 4 minutes. And that's it. The dahi aloo will be ready. Notice that the dahi aloo is thickened a little bit and it's still got a gravy-like texture. Just perfect to go along with rice or even your paratha. One last step. I have to chop up some coriander leaves and add it to it. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Coriander gives in fresh flavors into the dahi aloo and this is something that you cannot just miss. You can also add kasuri methi to give it a different uh, flavor but coriander is a must. So I'm going to add in the coriander and that's it. Give it a stir. It smells just beautiful. Do make sure you give it a taste. Adjust the salt, um, chili powder um, or anything else that you need to add and, and just serve. I hope you enjoyed watching the recipe of how to make dahi alu. It's really simple, isn't it? Serve it along with some tawa paratha, hot full kal smeared with ghee or simply just steamed rice and topped with some ghee and some papad and a salad. Perfect for a weeknight dinner or you even pack it for your lunch boxes. When you do try this recipe out, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below because I'd love to hear from you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.